I'm Helen Rojak, and I'm standing in front of my painting called The Mirror. And this was a series that started about a year and a half ago. I had done an interior in another painting, and I fell in love with the idea of doing more interiors. And also, I wanted a sharper, dark light sense. Now, this painting was inspired by one of... Uh, um, uh, what's her name, the Impressionist, uh, Mary Cassatt, the painting of the woman leaning over the basin. Okay, I was at my cousin's house, I saw the bathroom, I saw my cousin's daughter, Annalisa, and I told her to stand in front of the basin, and I took a bunch of shots, and I fell in love with this one. And I find images that I can stay with for a really long time, and kind of... Uh, get immersed in all of the details, and especially the wall. I fell in love with walls. And here's another wall I fell in love with. I fell in love with these shapes. I fell in love with these dark shapes. And these children gave me this wonderful line right there. Again, these are my grandchildren. But uh, the whole thing was uh, kind of like an abstract experience in a way. But uh, I love painting flat shapes. This is a really... Uh, so, uh, something that uh, is a challenge and I always wanted something that's going to be harder than I can possibly ever do successfully. So that's my whole point. And this is a painting of my uh, granddaughter on a sailboat. And I fell in love with this Renaissance pose from Giorgione or Titian or their news, that kind of thing. And there she was reading the, in the boat. And I think of these as Renaissance colors, that deep green, deep red, and deep blue. And that is the color you see over and over again in Titian's and Raphael's, their nudes. Right? Now, I, I think of this ironing board as my version of a Vermeer, because it's blue and gold, and I love Vermeer, so this is my homage to Vermeer. And it happens to be an ironing board, but my granddaughter said ironing boards have feelings too, so that's why it's in the show. Okay, well, I've grown up with a lot of animals. Um, I remember as a child, my favorite things were the dioramas at the Provincial Museum. The horse in the mine, I just found that just a really iconic image, and I look at some of my paintings and I can really see it there. Um, I live on Gabriola now, um, I've had a couple of children, and we've always had quite the menagerie. My children have been inter very interested in animals, they've been involved in 4-H, so we've had horses and donkeys and uh, chickens and ducks and parrots and lizards and all sorts of things, and um, the people that I've gotten to know on the island have had, you know, every animal we haven't had, pigs and cows and goats. And um, when I graduated from Emily Carr, the last show that I had in my grad show actually um, was a series of animal paintings, just because that's what I was out taking pictures of at the time. I had actually had a series of life-size cows um, and chickens and um, sheep. And then I stopped painting for about 16 years because I moved to Gabriola and had my children and I don't know why it just seemed very natural for me to get back where I was. I was painting in a different way but um, the images were, were very similar and um, you know now when you have your camera with you I love taking pictures and you know you can go through so many photographs and there's always one that that strikes me um, that I want to that I want to make into a painting and it just it just turns out to be animals I don't know you know I I'm not interested in painting landscapes or um, you know buildings or anything like that or um, people at the moment and um, just a animals just seem to fit the bill so